Hi, Garden Buddies. I'm back because I know last week we talked about dissecting flowers and I mentioned there might be a chance for you to make your own garden journal. So I'm gonna give you instructions to use materials that are right in your house. So first of all, see if you can find a paper bag anywhere, or maybe when mom goes to the store, she could get you one. And then it's good to have a pair of scissors, a stapler if you have it. I'll give you some other options. And then just um, some regular scrap paper. It can have stuff on one side or you could use computer paper just like this. But anything that you can draw on would be just fine. So you're gonna take your paper bag and the first thing you're gonna do is remove the handles, okay? And I actually already used the other side of this, but normally it would have that. So I'm gonna start, just gonna fold that down so I have a nice flat part of my paper bag. And I'm just gonna cut all along the outside edges. I'm gonna do this pretty quick, but if you were doing it, the neater you do it, the cleaner the edges of your journal are gonna be, okay? I go all the way around so that I get a nice flat surface of a paper bag. I'm going to take the other piece, take it away. Okay, now I have this. So I have the long way and the short way. I'm going to turn the short side towards me and I'm going to start to fold up the paper. And the way that I'm going to measure where it is, is I'm going to take my scrap paper and kind of use it as a measurement and I want it to just sort of fit in there with like a little bit around the edges. Do you see that? So then that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna fold it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Got a little bit of brown all the way around the edge and there's my fold, you see that? It's gonna create a really cool little pocket. So now that I have that first fold, just gonna make one more to fold that edge in right there at the bottom. Okay, tuck that up. Now look, I have this cool little pocket in here. And then I'm just gonna fold this whole thing directly in half. Okay. I have this little staple in mine that's kind of causing some problems. So I think I'm gonna pull that little staple out. All right, now I have it perfectly folded in half. Then I'm gonna take and seal up the edges of my pockets with a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, you could use some glue and let it dry. So this is just the fast way, but maybe all you have at home is glue right now. So I'm just, I'm just doing it on the pocket parts so that I can keep my, see that? I've made my pocket all sealed up. So if I wanna put some things in there, it doesn't fall out. Then the last thing I'm gonna do, take my papers, my white papers, fold them in half, Give them a good hard crease. And for this one, I only put a few in. You could put more if you wanted to have a thicker journal, but it might be a little easier to staple if it's thin. So I set this right here. I already have my fold, fold it over. And then all I'm gonna do is secure my white papers inside, right at the edge. You don't wanna go very far in or it's gonna make it hard to open. So, if I didn't have these staples, what I might do is create some small holes. And maybe if my mom had like a needle and thread or some yarn, I could kind of thread it in through there to hold the white papers in. But see now when I open this up, I have my journal space. I have a front pocket. If I go to the back, I have my back pocket and I can write on all my pages and do little cool drawings. So if you wanna see, I decorated the front of mine in a fun way, and then I could start writing in all the things that I'm doing for all of my experiments. And you could even show your teacher a picture of your fancy garden journal. So I hope you can figure out how to do it with materials that you have at home, and it gives you a perfect opportunity to record all of the scientific findings that you're having in your garden. I'll talk to you soon.